Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. Please welcome to Home Garden and Fashion. First of all, I would like to say thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and please do go to my Facebook fan page and give me a like there if you haven't been there already. In today's video, I'm going to share my idea of how I bought this one from the Goodwill, the thrift store and I have decided to use all this sequence so I have a plan for three things for this one I'm going to use this sequence in a blue siphon sari and make it a really pretty siphon sari with this blue sequence and I'm going to use this to make a purse matching to it and also decorate my blue blouse with this sequence so I'm going to share all the three ideas with you. Now just to show you, this is uh, a skirt from the Goodwill store in my area. And this skirt is from Victoria's Secret. And this has a little chain on the side and little hook. So I'm going to keep this one as it is so I can use it in my purse. And as you see, something like this I'm planning to make so I'm going to use about this much for the purse purposes just a clutch holding clutch so I'm going to I have some cardboard I'll put it inside and once I make it I'll record it while making it so I can show it to you and the rest of this so I'm using say this much as a double for the purse and I have this much left which is a ton of sequins to do the sari and the blouse. I'm going to share the idea with you. So I have taken a cardboard and this is 9 inch this side and this side 12 inch. So it doesn't need a specific measurement. It's just based on what I have the fabric here. So now I'm going to, then this one I lined it with a fabric already. You just take the same amount of fabric or your cardboard, just one inch, a little bit extra, and you just stitch it in the side. So that's what I did. And now I'm going to cut it into half. And then I'll put it inside it and stitch. So as you see, I have cut these pieces. So as you see I cut this thing into two pieces now all I'm going to do is I have to make sure that its zipper portion is on the top because I have I am going to make the purse so I want to keep the zipper portion on the top and the second thing I already have the lining because lining was in the skirt so I'm just going to have to insert this this side and the other one in the other side and I will fold it like this now after doing this I will make sure that I will fold all this such a way that it makes it look like a very neat stitch and this side also I'll fold it so that's all after I fold all this side and stitch it nicely, then I'll show you the purse. So there's nothing much to it and I put the cardboard to make it look like a clutch. And it will be matching with the sari. So let me go ahead and just do my best to fold all the side such neatly so that it looks a nice clutch. So as you see, I'm finally done and all i did is the way i show you i fold it and here's the zipper so it's a nice bag nice clutch and there's plenty of space inside and all i did is just stitch the sides and put a cardboard inside the way i showed you and the stitching is pretty much i hold it like this and stitch it and it was very simple stitch and I gave few times not machine stitch just hand stitch all around the sides now in these sides if I wish I can dangle some beads I don't know about that my might do it might not and 
I had this one previously hanging on it so I've been using this one just to guide me to see where the zipper is since this is so blending color with the zipper so I kept this one and this place I might put some beads and have a little you know hanging chain and some dangling right here at the bottom so I might do that but beside that it's a really beautiful clutch and it's done from a skirt as I showed you and it's just took very little fabric and I still have this much fabric left from the skirt so I'm going to use all this sequence in a sari and a blouse and while making it I'll show that one too so this was our clutch making which is very easy and all I had to do is put some cardboard as I showed you and just stitch all around the side a few times hand stitch and that's it and I saved this zipper so and this kind of guides me where the front is and that's a beautiful clutch thank you so much don't forget to like subscribe comment and share the video and I will show you when I make the sari and the blouse when I put all the sequins so it will take a very tidy job to get out all these sequences or as much as I could to put it in the sari and the blouse and this was a plan very fun project and done very quickly didn't take long it's all just putting the cardboard inside and I had the lining and the fabric so thank you have a great day bye bye